Hey guys, just want to let you know that I'll be in the LA area for the next three weeks for VidCon and Anime Expo. And also to check out audible.com slash domics for a 30 day trial and a free audiobook. Conventions are a great way for me to meet you guys in the real world, but I do tend to meet a good chunk of you on other normal days when I decide to leave my home. It was a bit of a challenge to write this without an underlying tone of humble bragging, but I just wanted to share some of my experiences with meeting some of you. And one thing I really appreciate about meeting you guys is that most of you are well-mannered and polite. Meeting fans unexpectedly is often an interesting event for me. Whether I'm grocery shopping, eating at a restaurant, or taking a piss, I meet you guys in all sorts of places and situations. I know I don't usually show my face on this channel, but I do have an Instagram, which is where most people often go to make sure I'm actually real. Getting recognized in public outside of events was such a surprise for me. But over time, I developed a sort of fan radar where I could sense when someone notices me. A lot of the time, they'd know exactly who I was but be very hesitant to approach me because they didn't want to bother me while I ate ice cream or something. Like, guys, come on. I'm gonna say right now, if you see me and I don't look like I'm rushing somewhere or helping a woman give birth, just come and say hello. If you can take time from your day to watch my videos, I can take a minute to talk to you and take a picture if you'd like. Other times I'd walk by a group of people and one of them would do a double take at me and then start whispering to their friends and all I'd hear are murmurs of, is that Domix? Who the hell is Domix? Yeah, th that's definitely Domix. No way! What's he doing here? <gasps> oh my god! I don't get it, who is he? That was something I never knew how to answer. Whoa, Domix, what are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you at uh, some establishment. Well, I mean, I, same to you, stranger. I didn't expect to see you either. As for my reason being here, probably the same as you in taking advantage of this up to 80% off summer sale. Guys, there isn't a special YouTuber store we go to for our daily needs. I shop at the mall and supermarket just like you. This one night I was working pretty late at the office and got hungry, so I decided to head out and indulge my craving for some chicken McNuggets. Mm. I went to the drive-thru, ordered my goodies, drove up to the first window, paid for my food, went up to the second window to pick up my food, and the dude lost his shit and almost fumbled my bag when he saw me. Uh, are you Domix? I answered truthfully, and then he asked me if he could take a photo. I always feel a little guilty allowing this kind of situation because I didn't want him getting in trouble by their boss or manager, assuming they weren't the boss or ma- You know what, maybe he was a manager, I don't know. And on top of that, there were a few cars behind me so I didn't want to hold up the line. He kept fumbling his phone because he was nervous and it kept freezing and we couldn't figure out the right angle for a photo, so I was getting a little anxious but because I already agreed on taking the picture with him, I had to full commit to it. It'd be kinda lame if I just changed my mind like, you know what bro, I'm good, see ya, thanks for the food. The woman behind me honked and yelled, are you fucking kidding me? And I'm like, dude, I think she's upset. And he rebuttals with, nah nah, it's cool man, don't worry about it. Okay, if you say so. I mean, he's the one who has to deal with her after, but okay. A few weeks later, I met him again at my gaming cafe, and it turns out, he still has his job. Hey, thanks for the food. I'm pretty comfortable meeting fans in public now, but there are times where I prefer to be a little more covert because I simply don't want to cause a scene. And scenes have definitely been caused because some fans have been overly excited. A while ago, I took Claire to a walk-in clinic because she wasn't feeling well. As we were waiting, a fan walked out of one of the rooms and recognized me. He asked if we could take a photo and I said, yes, of course, but then he realized he didn't have his phone with him. So he got a little bummed out, I felt bummed for him, so we were just awkwardly bummed out together for a good minute or so. Soon enough, his mom comes out from seeing the doctor and the fan jumps up and bolted towards her. Mom, mom, I need your phone. His mom obviously didn't understand the urgency. He told her he wanted to take a picture with me and she asked, oh, are you friends? And I answered honestly, um, no, actually we uh, just met. And she said, oh, you sure do make friends pretty easily. I chuckled, but I think he wanted his mom to understand the weight of the situation, so he yelled, HE'S FAMOUS! I couldn't tell if she believed him, because when you think of a famous person, you think of actors or singers, and I definitely don't have that celebrity look. I usually look like I just woke up from a long night of watching anime and playing video games. I never know what to say when people ask about my D-class celebrity status, like, Oh, are you famous or something? Well, by definition, I guess so, but I don't want my statistics to determine how you treat me, so I'll often say a partial truth like, Yeah, I, I guess a few people are aware of me. 
While I say that most of you have been polite to me, there have been a few interactions that left me with a sour impression, even though it may have been partially my fault for humoring them and not explicitly saying how I really felt. I guess that's what it's like to be a type 9, I'm a people pleaser. I've been trying to get better about this and I just want to let you know that you should always try and be honest to yourself and others about how you truly feel, even if it may not lead to a desirable outcome. I was at a convention one year and Claire and I were at the video game lounge area. In the distance, Claire spotted some people playing Just Dance, so we decided to check it out and see if we could play. As we were waiting for our turn, a fan, who was sitting on the side, recognized me and came up to say hello. He expressed his admiration for my work, seemed like a normal conversation with a fan, but then he immediately segued into, Could you give me a shout out in your next video? Um... Well, I didn't normally do that. I know other YouTubers give shoutouts at the end of their videos, and while I occasionally do that for people I've collaborated with, it's not a regular thing I do just for anyone. I expressed that to him, but he insisted on the shoutout despite his lack of a proper introduction. So I asked him if he had a YouTube channel, and he said no. Oh, then... Then what do you have? I have a Snapchat. I grew reluctant to continue the conversation, but because we really wanted to play Just Dance, I couldn't just make an excuse to leave or we'd lose our spot in line. For me, it's really difficult to tell someone to simply stop talking to me and ask them to leave my presence as if I was some egotistic king when they haven't really done anything wrong. Ah, what, what kind of stuff do you do on there? Who knows, I may have been presumptuous and maybe he actually has a- I post memes and stuff. Hmm. Okay. Well, I let him know that I'll consider it with a heavily reluctant tone in hopes that he'd take the hint. Alright, cool. And he walked away. Claire and I continued waiting for our turn, only to have the guy come back two minutes later and ask, So how soon do you think you can do the shout out? Whoa, buddy. I probably messed up by unintentionally getting his hopes up. I should have been more clear. Um... <sighs> I'm not sure, uh, the current video I'm working on is kinda already done, so maybe the next one? No promises though? Hindsight 2020, I know I shouldn't have said that. I dug a deeper hole for myself. Alright, cool! He walked away again. But not a minute passed and he returned once more. Hey Dom, just making sure you won't forget to do the shout out. Okay, we're leaving, we can just play at home. If there's one thing I learned growing on YouTube, it's that you gotta stay humble. It's guaranteed that aspects of your life will change when you grow a larger following, but you have to stay level-headed and not let your ego take over. As far as I've come, I still want to be able to have a normal conversation with you guys, and I appreciate that a lot of you treat me with that respect. I look forward to meeting some of you at VidCon and Anime Expo this year. Speaking of shoutouts, I want to give one to Audible for sponsoring this video. Head over to audible.com slash domix, link below, or text the code domix to 500, 500 for a 30-day trial and a free audiobook. I'm excited to say that I'll be doing something new and special during VidCon this year. I'll be sitting down for an old-fashioned book club discussion with Ben and John from the Super Carlin Bros, and Phil DeFranco along with members of its vlog team to discuss the new book by Lauren Groff, Florida, available on Audible. Heard really great stuff about it, and I'm excited to dive into it this weekend. The book is only about 8 hours long, so I'll definitely be able to get through it on my way to VidCon. Using my code, you can pick out any one book you'd like on Audible, which you get to keep forever by the way, but if you do decide to check out Florida, I welcome you to share your thoughts in the comments, and I'll try to include some of your input in the conversation with the gang. Look forward to the book club discussion, which will be posted on the DeFranco vlog channel soon after VidCon. Enjoy!